And we believed and still do. You have to start with yourself. And we believe if you want to start, you should know where to start. And that's how we decided we will measure each one of our lives against certain standards. I'm really pleased because you bring an energy and a life to this place. It's your energy and your way of thinking that's going to help craft this coming week. And so we're really pleased to have you, and I particularly look forward to getting to know some of you personally over the course of the week. It's possible, guys. It is. See, you get cut. There's some magic in here. Yeah, you're fooling us. Fooling, fooling. Yeah. I can see moments from here. Yeah. <laughs> we are looking forward to turn these children into good professionals and better human beings and uh, that is not only from say a moralistic perspective it is essential because uh, media is primarily about masses and uh, masses are primarily underprivileged The idea of uh, effective living and leadership program for the media and communication students is to understand that the power and responsibility that they hold in shaping this. It is not just about putting some headlines somewhere, it's not just about shooting, but really what do you want to see and how do you want to report that to the world. Because at some point, 10 years down the line, people are going to remember these things. And therefore, it becomes really, really important uh, the place that you're coming from when you see the world around you. And what is it that you want to portray? So I'd just like to request all of us to just tear out single sheets of paper from our diaries. Write down those four most important values in your life. What's important to us? What motivates us with this? We all have individual priorities and values. And then we look at how, how they're complicated. It's not straightforward. Just because you have these values doesn't mean that things are going to be smooth, that things are going to work out. We still have really difficult decisions to make. Looking into the mirror, I see the real me. It may not be what I want to see, but it's truth that set me free. Set me free. And there was a listener, and separate listener A, listener B, listener C. Even more eye-opening is that when you have no vision and no action, you're in a state of suspended animation. <laughs> important takeaways that we would like for them to take back. One is experiencing silence and quiet time and living from personal values. Second thing is how do I play a role in impacting the society at large through whatever small acts I can do. And the third is relationships. Relationship with the family, relationship with friends, relationship with the society and what it takes to, to build these relationships. If 
a, a media professional is uh, doesn't understand issues bothering the masses, there's scarce little he can do while communicating about them. I mean, he can, but uh, he will be superfluous about it, vacuous, and uh, will never be effective as a communicator. A large part of our training, that is why, is aimed at uh, inculcating uh, an empathy towards the issues that masses face. So, I believe that it is essential for a media professional trainee to be a better human being and not only a good professional. And only if he is a better, he or she is a better human being, they can be a really good professional. It is really a explore, experience, express. Silence. It makes you think. It makes you ponder over memories. All the conversations, feelings and thoughts you had. I had a chance to reflect on all the things that I had hidden, all the feelings that I didn't know existed and all the experiences that I had forgotten. It reminded me of all the tough moments and what I have become because of those moments and all the experiences that I've had so far and whether they've been good, bad or ugly. And it gave me a chance to know myself a little more. I really think we are growing up to the next level and we are growing as a person. It's been more of a futuristic experience because uh, everything that I've learned here, I'm pretty sure I'm going to take back home with me and uh, implement right from where I'm going to be working. From where uh, these past few days have been really amazing. Uh, we learned a lot about ourselves, about others, how to understand ourselves and the others. Basically how to be one with everyone. And something that I'm truly grateful for is that we came closer to our director, Mr. Anupam Siddhartha, which is quite something, not something that happens in our everyday college life. It's really a good place to be at. Like we've been connecting with nature a lot and with ourselves a lot and this has been a lot of fun. Let's say it's exhilarating. Spectacular. It was very really touching for me seeing them. Um, opening new pages. After the, the program, uh, we were quite unsure of the outcome because of all of the overwhelm that we felt. But later on, uh, staying in touch with the students, some of the students, and having their feedback and uh, uh, them expressing the way they felt, uh, it was quite effective and inspiring, which was really uh, touching and gave us the push. Uh, in terms of the guidelines of the whole things, uh, I would say there are three things. One is personal values, okay, personal values and searching for these values in the silence. So to look at how can we practice quiet time on a daily basis in order to reach that point where there is clarity inside, where inspiration gets born. Okay? So the practice of quiet time and the third thing is to look at how can I be a part of the solution? How can I be a part of the large tapestry and not just play a small part in whatever I do? I could be doing journalism, I could be doing filmmaking, I could be doing anything. But in the larger scheme of things, how am I contributing to the society? How am I playing bigger than just myself?